The End of My Channel, December 27, 2012. Today I received a copyright violation notice from YouTube. The complaint was filed by Premier Radio Networks. I looked them up and they own Coast to Coast Radio with George Nury. I have been harshly critical of Coast to Coast because I feel they are an Illuminati owned or controlled radio station and I did not like the way George Nury treated Andrew Basiago when Major Ed Dames called in to the program when they were live and Brent Stillings was on. The day after I posted the comment saying George Nury can kiss my shorts, the copyright complaint came in and YouTube doesn't give any host a hearing or a trial of any kind. The channel host is guilty and not allowed an appeal. Now that's a Nazi system, isn't it? They don't even tell you what the copyright violation was. And here's the weird part. That video was up for several months. And they didn't have a problem with it all during that time. Then there's this big promotion for December 21st. The end of the world. And George Nouri puts on a big show. The end of the world he broadcasts on December 19th. And to me, he's playing on the same team as the Nazis who wanted this date promoted. And as soon as the date is over, they tell me that I have a copyright infringement on them. And they cancel that video. That was one of my most successful videos. I'm expecting more copyright violation attacks. Because it's pretty clear now they want to take me down. I protest YouTube's policy that a channel host is guilty and not allowed an appeal. He's not even allowed to know what the copyright violation was. If there was an alternative to YouTube, I'd be there in a heartbeat. I don't know of any alternative to YouTube. I'm certainly not going to go with Facebook. I understand they're worse than YouTube. They're controlled directly by the CIA. I won't do anything with the CIA. To me, they're drug dealers and murderers, and I don't associate with either. Now, the video that was banned was the one with, it's about Planet X, and Brent Miller made the prediction that two-thirds of the world population would die if there's a Planet X. I thought it was an interesting report, and I reported it to you, and it was enormously successful. 238,000 views. And now suddenly, after December 21st, they want to get rid of all the Planet X videos because they want the public to think it was a big fucking hoax. Bullshit. The evidence that was there before December 21st is still there. The earthquakes, the volcanoes, the weird weather, all of this shit is still there. And I wanted to continue my investigation of the possibility of a Planet X. But I'm not allowed to. When I type in Planet X, I always see five or six, sometimes even seven or eight of my videos on Planet X. Today, I found an unbelievable nine videos out of 20 that were mine. And so I took a picture of it. Nine out of 20 videos were mine on Planet X. So you can see that I am the number one target to take down. Well, I'm down. I'm finished. The Nazis won. And I think Coast to Coast did a promotion to sell the idea of the end of the world for December 21st because they knew it wasn't and they knew that everyone would accept that it's a big hoax because they're setting you up. They want you to stay put and don't move from the coast. I have reason to believe that the earthquakes will intensify, that the number of volcanoes will increase until sometime in spring. And if I had a gun to my head and someone says, tell me the date, and I had to guess, I'd say March, April for Planet X to do the pole shift here. I think the evidence is overwhelming. It's clear to me that 9-11 was done by the CIA and Mossad. And there are still people who believe the government's official story about 9-11. There are still people around that believe that Oswald killed Kennedy. I can't imagine people that clueless. Even though I've dealt with the comments for 18 months, and I see that some people are just fucking clueless, and there's nothing you can do to ever correct their thinking. They're fluoride heads, and they're never going to be intelligent, critical thinkers. I tried to bring the reports 
to you from intelligent thinking individuals who did their homework and all that's over now. I'm going to go with the flow. They want to take me down, I'm going down. The Nazis won. They promoted Planet X as a big hoax. And the public bought it, for the most part. A lot of you know what's going on. You're not that easily fooled, but you're only 1%. The rest are fools. They believe whatever they're told. The government plays them like a piano. And I'm not talking about these puppets that occupy the White House and serve in government. They serve themselves. They steal everything they can from the people. And they lie to the people and they cheat the people at every junction. I'm not talking about those sons of bitches. I'm talking about the secret government that operates behind the scenes. The nameless, faceless people who are always in power. And they install a puppet dictator to take the heat. And when he's finished, they get rid of him and put in a new dictator. And if you think that Planet X was a big hoax, then you must think that the earthquakes and the volcanoes were a big hoax. And that aliens flew all the way across the galaxy to warn us in crop circles. Because they're all part of the big hoax. They wanted to get a good laugh. Bullshit. That's as much bullshit as 19 Arabs did 9-11 with box cutters. Bullshit. The official story never adds up. It's always part of a conspiracy. Conspiracies are real and the elections aren't. They're rigged. So I'm going to ask you as I check out to take up the fight and the struggle to be free. Learn to make videos because I'm done. I expect that my channel will be closed down any day now. I'm not going to close it down. That was my first impulse, just to withdraw everything from YouTube and not give them any more content. But I'm not going to take down my channel. I'm going to let them do it. I'm not making any more videos for YouTube. I made 514 and the last one will not be played because they rejected it. It's too long. They're punishing me without a trial. I'm guilty without a trial, without a hearing, without even presenting the fucking evidence. I'm guilty. This is bullshit. What the Nazis want to do is get all the credible videos off of YouTube. And since I have more than anyone, I'm their prime target. And I want you to be aware of this. And that's why I'm making this video. They take me down. There goes 9 out of 20 on the first page. That's a big step for the Nazis. The last video I was successful in loading was a 14-minute video. And it took 4 hours. This is bullshit. Google is one of the richest companies in the world. They have the latest in computer technology available to them. And they can't load a 14-minute video in less than four hours? Bullshit! Google is controlled by the Nazis. And the Nazis tell them who's okay and who's not. And since I complain about the Nazis, it takes me four hours to load a 14-minute video. When Google went public, they didn't need to go public. They had $20 billion in the bank. And now we're expected to believe that it takes four hours to load a 14-minute video? This is bullshit. After I received the copyright notice, I tried to load my one-hour video. The first three tries, I canceled because it said it would take 10 hours to load. 10 hours to load one-hour video. Anybody who wants to bring you the truth is a target. The truth is outlawed in the Nazi regime. On the fourth try... I got, I got through, and it only took 70 or 80 minutes to load a one-hour video. That's more like it. That proves that they have the capability to load in less time. They just didn't want to do it for me. And I think they have algorithms that stop someone like me from loading quickly. They want to drag it out and discourage me, make me weary, slow me down because I have too much goddamn truth. The goddamn truth is not allowed on this fucking station. So I waited my 70 or 80 minutes, and as soon as the goddamn thing was finished, I tried to watch it, and it said it was canceled for being too long. It seems that when you have a complaint against you, an unfair and unreasonable complaint, an unexplained complaint, an uncontestable complaint against you by the Nazi regime... Your privilege of loading videos longer than 15 minutes is revoked without notification. This is bullshit. And the future will be worse, I assure you. The Constitution is dead. 
I wasted my time loading that video. I wasted my time making that video. And YouTube will not get my content anymore. I turned off my computer and I went to sleep. I took a nap. When I woke up, I had a new direction. I'm going back to the comment sections of my videos and I'm going to remove the approval requirement so that you can post without my approval because I'm not going to tend to this channel anymore. Post whatever you like. Show the world what an asshole you are if you want and come to see all the other assholes. And you will see why I had to screen those comments because some people are just disgusting. You will read comments that will make you nauseous. Some of the comments come from people who are so stupid, so out of touch with reality, that they think the government is good and that the rest of us are a bunch of conspiracy theorists. My channel was very popular and growing at the rate of 20% a month. I have today 8,900 subscribers and 3.6 million views, and I think that's it. I think that's where it's going to peak. It's all downhill from here for me. The videos I have made, some 514 of them, will remain as long as YouTube and the other Nazis allow them, but I don't expect it will be much longer. I expect that they will attack me again for copyright infringement, and they will get rid of me. And you will all think that I was the bad guy. They will control what you think. They will control what you know. The truth is classified. The truth is outlawed. You're not allowed to speak the truth, and you're not allowed to hear it. The only thing you're allowed to hear is propaganda and lies. And that's the only way they can maintain control of you, is if you don't know the truth. And I advocated that you tell everyone the truth. That you learn how to record your voice and take on a YouTube channel and start spreading the news because it's not going to be done by one person who has millions of views. It's going to be done by 10,000 of you that have a dribble. You guys are like a wave. Tiny little drops of water, but look out because that wave is coming into shore and it will knock down everything. You guys are the tsunami. They have taken me out. It's as effective as a shot to the head. You won't get my brand of truth anymore. The jig is up and my reign has come to an end. I was planning to do more videos of the ones you enjoyed most, but it's over. And I hope that some of you step up to take my place. You're welcome to copy any video I made. I have no claim to copyright on anything I did. Don't even ask, just use it. I did those videos for freedom and truth, and I never made one cent on advertising. YouTube advertised on my videos, but I did not. They benefited, but I did not. Not one penny. I'm going to profit now by putting my time into endeavors which benefit me instead of the slaves. Private enterprise, not YouTube. The slaves are just going to have to benefit themselves. And I hope that means learning how to make videos and protesting every day with a new video, one or two minutes. Just record what your gut feeling is about the Nazis every day. Be a tsunami of change. No more videos from me, the Nazis won. You will carry on the struggle to be free without me. Freedom has a price and so does slavery. You will pay much more to be their slave than to have your freedom. Thanks for everything, I enjoyed it. Back to Constitution. He's not even allowed to know what the copyright violation was. If there was an alternative to YouTube, I'd be there in a heartbeat. I don't know of any alternative to YouTube. I'm certainly not going to go with Facebook. I understand they're worse than YouTube. They're controlled directly by the CIA. I won't do anything with the CIA. To me, they're drug dealers and murderers. That's a Nazi system, isn't it? They don't even tell you what the copyright violation was. And here's the weird part. That video was up for several months, and they didn't have a problem with it all during that time. Then there's this big promotion for December 21st, the end of the world. And George Nouri puts on a big show, the end of the world, he broadcasts on December 19th. And to me, he's playing on the same team as the Nazis who wanted this date promoted. And as soon as the date is over, they tell me that I have a copyright infringement on them. And they cancel that video. That was one of my most successful videos. I'm expecting more copyright violation attacks. Because it's pretty clear now they want to take me down. 
I protest YouTube's policy that a channel host is guilty and not allowed an appeal treated Andrew Basiago when Major Ed Dames called in to the program when they were live and Brent Stillings was on. The day after I posted the comment saying George Nuri can kiss my shorts, the copyright complaint came in and YouTube doesn't give any host a hearing or a trial of any kind. The channel host is guilty and not allowed an appeal. Now, the end of my channel, December 27, 2012. Today, I received a copyright violation notice from YouTube. The complaint was filed by Premier Radio Networks. I looked them up, and they own Coast to Coast Radio with George Nuri. I have been harshly critical of Coast to Coast because I feel they are an Illuminati-owned or controlled radio station, and I did not like the way George Nuri 